there's only a one letter difference between ruler and rule in English. And there's an old Chinese saying, Mei you bui chu, bu chang fang yuan. According to the history books, over the ages, rules have been passed down through word of mouth and then inscribed onto tablets. So the law formed and governed people's behavior. The law is ever changing, but its influence on people's lives remains constant. But what about the law in China today? I'm going to check it out. As history evolves, each country develops its own rules. In China's over 5,000 years of history, legal governance is a custom that continues to this day. With a long history, the rule of law in China boasts rich content, such as moral considerations, customs and conventions, and strict rules and regulations. The Chinese government believes that to maintain the social stability, promote social equity and justice, and ensure the people's well-being and security, we must uphold and improve the socialist political and legal work systems with Chinese characteristics, comprehensively improve the modernization level of political and legal work, as well as build a higher level of rule of law in China to provide a powerful guarantee for the construction of a well-off society. I found these pictures in the materials. It looks like they're just ordinary stones. There's no text. A long time ago, in order to establish township regulations and resolve disputes, the Miao people buried them in places where land disputes existed, in this way to endow the authority of the regulations, similar to the Hammurabi of ancient Babylon. Hundreds of years have passed, but what does it look like now? What do they rely on to resolve problems now? I came to Guangxue, Guangxi, where the Miao people live, I hope to find my answer here. The Rongshui Mao Tzu Autonomous County People's Juvenile Criminal Moot Court is now in session. The defendant, his representatives, and his attorney. I was riveted. It felt like I was in a real trial. The students were so professional. It turned the law, which can be very abstract, into something that's easy to follow and easy to understand. This is just one of the examples of how we can popularize the law more and more to all the members of society by actually making it accessible. Only when the law is known and understood can the aspiration of the rule of law in China be achieved. China launched a five-year plan for public legal education in 1986. Some 700 million out of the targeted 750 million citizens took part in the first five-year program, received the initiation education in legal knowledge. In recent years, public legal education has become increasingly diversified. Various means that promote legal governance and popularize legal knowledge have been fully exploited, including new media platforms like WeChat, Weibo, as well as TV dramas and animations. According to statistics of China's Supreme People's Court, nearly 3.4 million civil cases were concluded on first trials in the year 2000 and nearly 9 million civil cases were concluded on first trials in the year 2018. Between 1985 and 2004, nearly 70,000 intellectual property cases were concluded on first trials. In 2018, about 290,000 intellectual property cases were concluded on first trials, which were four times the total number of closed cases between 1985 and 2004. 将由我带大家参观一下咱们融水法庭。大家请随我往这边走。现在我们来到的是共享远程调解室，这里呢是我们的汪洞人民法庭。Good morning, Your Honor. 
Engaging in a lawsuit is a complicated process, but the new lawsuit service reduces so much of the stress related to it. You can still get all the legal benefits you deserve without having to spend so much time and money. It improves the efficiency of law enforcement for everyone. So, have you used the new lawsuit service yet? And what do you think about it? I think this is a good thing for the people who are in the world. They can help us. 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 And how has the new lawsuit service changed your life? I think the new lawsuit service has changed my life. I think the new lawsuit service has changed my life. I think the new In April 2019, the world's first virtual court, Hangzhou Internet Court's AI judge assistant, formally reported to duty. It's able to independently hear, analyze, and reason cases, and judges only need to monitor the progress backstage, which allows them to monitor multiple cases simultaneously and greatly raises trial efficiency. With the rapid development of information technology, Chinese courts are exploiting new technology such as big data, cloud computing, AI, and blockchains to actively promote internet judiciary. The white paper, Chinese Courts and Internet Judiciary, reveals that by October the 31st, 2019, internet courts in Hangzhou, Beijing, and Guangzhou have handled nearly 120,000 cases, taking an average of only 45 minutes per case which has a median trial period of about 38 days and is twice as efficient as the traditional mode. I wonder what the judge is doing with that emblem and where he's going with it. Excuse me, sir, where are you going? I would love to see that. Can I come with you? Okay. Why do you take the emblem with you when you handle cases in the countryside? Guohui是我们巡回办案必须要带上的，因为它代表着威严与正义。我们在巡回办案的过程中，搭进了法庭往往的比较紧陋，但是法律的威严不能丢，所以无论我们到哪办案，都会带着国徽。It looks like it's a lot of effort to come all the way here and far distances to travel. Why do you set up courts like this? We So what kind of cases do you usually handle? 我们这里处理的纠纷，每年里面离婚纠纷，还有民间借贷和相邻纠纷这三类案型的案子都差不多一样多。And how many cases roughly per year? 我们法庭每年大概处理是四百多件案子。光启长主席永顺秒执行一名法院，使用一名法院先开庭，下面后来当审审法，检员到将自己基本情况向法庭陈述。被告讲了自己的基本情况，被告讲了自己的基本情况。关于当事人在诉讼过程中所享有的诉讼权利以及应当承担的诉讼义务，法庭也进行全面告诉。今晚被告。Court judges certainly are very different to what I'm used to. They kind of make me think of legal superheroes carrying their emblem through the rain and the misty mountains to get to the people and serve them justice, who otherwise probably wouldn't be able to access it. Peace and love. By the end of October 2019, China has in effect 275 laws, over 600 administrative regulations, and more than 12,000 local provisions. A modernizing, internationalizing, and law-governed country must heed the rules to create a fair and efficient environment. China is opening up wider to the world through its legal governance. 
According to Doing Business 2020, a World Bank Group flagship report, China jumped to 31st place from 46th and topped the world in terms of its judicial process quality. In 2019, China's number of registered criminal cases dropped by 4.1 percent, and that eight categories of serious violent crimes also fell by 10.3 percent, making it one of the world's safest countries. A safe country has become a much admired image of China. China continues to improve and develop its legal system, also actively follow and safeguard international norms and laws in its drive for shared benefits and win-win cooperation worldwide. Our trip here has been very interesting. We got to participate in a mock trial. We saw all the ways that technology is making it easier to access the law. And we even got to observe a circuit court in a small village. Nowadays, there are more and more ways of popularizing the law and enforcing it efficiently. The law is not just some abstract thing that's only relevant to legal professionals. It's all around us. It influences all of us. The improvement of the legal system continues to enhance people's sense of satisfaction. And I believe better access to law and raising awareness of the law will create a better and happier society.